market, our daily program on Nifty, Bank Nifty and Dollar. What do we do here? We look at charts, we look at open interest, we look at some, uh, we look at FIDI data and we try to form an informed opinion on what the market is likely to do tomorrow and in the next few days. We also look at some scenarios which the market might throw at us and how we'll react to them. Remember, this uh, program is not really about predicting the market. It's about reacting to what the market does. There's no points for prediction. And prediction is, frankly, a boring business. Once market does a movement and it becomes fairly certain what a market will do, that is the time when we believe we should take the trades and not really about, you know, try to guess what the market is about to do. And, you know, so um, also, um, um, uh, we how do we, st we, we suggest some risk managed option strategies that you can do for the next trading day right with that prelude let me jump right into our excel sheet and uh, let's discuss calagra market so yesterday we had a bullish bias and that bias is still intact um, uh, not, no movement happened really today market stayed where it is uh, chat is supporting only Oh, really? SGX is 100? No, SGX is not up 120 points. Daguram is saying SGX plus 120. Really? I don't... Is that true? Let me... Because Daguram is saying that SGX is up 120, let me look at it. Kaha, yaar. No, no, SGX is flat. SGX is at 18,130. Uh, I don't know why you would say that. Uh, but okay. Uh, 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 can you share the Excel here? Uh, so instead of sharing the Excel, I would strongly recommend that you can come here on this tab called uh, Daily Market uh, in Sensible Platform, web.sensible.com, Daily Market. You can see every day's analysis, you know, in a very nice format. You can click on this, click on this, click on this, click on this. You can even go back in time and say, okay, I want to see what did these sensible guys say on November 14th and see if this really worked out, right? So uh, basically, this is a much better format, which is why we think it's better than Excel. So please, you again, it's a free free feature, so you don't have to pay anything, right? Yash is saying price action is telling bearish. Mm, maybe that is true. And uh, Upendra is saying trading view is showing the next contract value for SGS. That could be the confusion. Very possible. They could be showing in the Jan end contract. The current contract is flat. Yeah, that's what even I think. Uh, so anyway, uh, you know, the only thing I don't like about this page is this area. Otherwise, everything, <laughs> never mind. So uh, it, let's uh, get to, what is that thing? Multi-strike, OI. So first thing, see, nothing has really changed about the chart. Yesterday, it was back into the channel right now also it is in the channel right and the gap is filled it doesn't seem there's some rejection there but it's not really a rejection today market formed a indecision doji candle but that is daily candle and that is not the game the real game is the weekly candle this is a bullish harami pattern so even if expiry happens lower tomorrow it closes at eighteen thousand. it's still a bullish harami even if it closes at 17 900 it is bullish harami even if it closes at 17,800, it's a bullish harami or an inverted hammer. So as long as this candle is going to be green, for this week, this will be a reversal pattern. And this candle can be green in so many ways as long as it is about 17,800 or levels, right? So weekly, it is almost 100% sure that the candle is going to be a reversal candle. The same goes for Bank Nifty. Bank Nifty is back in the channel. It is consolidating. <coughs> And if you look at the weekly pattern, this is a this is the previous all-time high which we have drawn here as the horizontal line. And on the previous all-time high, which is a horizontal line, we have a bullish harami pattern. Again, bullish harami or bullish piercing rather, right? So even in Nifty, uh, this is a harami. In Bank Nifty, this almost is a piercing or harami. Both of them are indicating a possibility of a reversal. Right, so Nifty bullish, Bank Nifty bullish, according to charts. Uh, and now that we are close to December end, let's look at monthly chart. Monthly chart is forming a bearish en uh, en engulfing or piercing, but there's a huge rejection wick here, and there's a rejection zone here, and there's a bullish engulfing at 18,000 
from October. So these are conflicting. So I don't want to read too much into it. Yes, acknowledge it is there, but there are too many other things against it also. Now, if you look at Bank Nifty's monthly chart, this is a much more clear bullish pattern than Nifty's. So net net, I think the bias in the medium term is still bullish, right? Now let's look at open interest chart quickly. Uh, very simple, lots of puts added, uh, especially at 18,100 massive put addition. Overall 18,000 is a big support, 18,100 is somewhat of a support, 18,200 is a weak resistance, but it is a resistance nevertheless, comparatively weaker. PCR is 1.1, which is bullish. Now, uh, finally look at the FI data, FI data, hardly anything, right? 1000 calls bought, 6000 puts sold, 400 futures crores, uh, 800 crores, 900 crores sell on uh, stocks. This is mildly bullish. This is mildly bullish. This is bearish, but it's long term. Uh, but we have to draw our attention to the fact that for the last four days, FIA has been relentlessly selling in cash. So we have to acknowledge that also, right? Net net, as long as Nifty is in the channel, I still think it's a dip. If the channel is broken, uh, if below channel, uh, market can correct, right? Let me write both sides. Uh, and uh, sorry, that is uh, previous times. Sorry, that's not today's analysis. This is 28 December. So Nifty is no decisive move. Bullish Arami on uh, weekly cha charts. Bank Nifty is also in the channel. Uh, weekly uh, chart is bullish piercing. Bias is bullish. Um, Option chain 18100 is a recent strong support. 18200 might be a resistance. It could be weak. It is still a resistance. PCR 1.1 bullish. FIA data mildly bullish except for stock data, but consistent selling in the last few days. I don't think this week we will get a decisive move. Uh, I doubt that. Uh, medium term bullish, but of course, if it is below channel, market can correct. So, so you have to watch the channel, right? Don't go into the market with a view key boss. Uh, I think we have to see how it uh, goes. Um, Matthew is saying option prices increases due to what factor? Matthew, this is explained very well in our YouTube uh, learning tutorial and all of that. Uh, uh, so what are the trades we can do? See, if 18,000 holds and if it is in the channel, I won't want to do anything for this expiry because I think this expiry will be time pass. There's a small chance that tomorrow we can have a up move breaking 18,200 and all, but I don't really want to bet on it. What I will do is this. I will trade for Jan 5th expiry and I'll explain why I would trade for Jan 5th expiry. The answer is simple. It's low gamma. So let's say that I have a bullish bias and it stays in the channel, right? If it stays in the channel, then I can expect a big up move, right? So if I am planning to do a big up move, I am looking at basically a move till 18500 maybe, which is the previous 80 all time high, right? This zone. So if that is the bet I am willing to take, the idea is very simple. I can take a bull call spread of Jan uh, 5th expiry, sorry, Jan 5th bull call spread. And I'm looking for a big move, so good risk reward, right? So what I can do is I can buy the 18200 call and sell the 18500 call. It gives me a risk reward of 1 is to 2, right? And the logic is simple. <clears throat> Let's say you are proven wrong, right? And if T goes below 18,000. I like this strategy because if it goes to 17,950, let's say at that point, you know that you're wrong, right? If Nifty goes to 17,950, the channel is broken and you know you're wrong. In that case, this strategy only loses around 2.5K. That is great, right? Whereas if the channel holds and let's say it goes to 18,400 or something, this will give you again a 4K, 5K. So the risk reward is very attractive in this case, especially for a big bull move and uh, Let's say Nifty does not give direction tomorrow. It stays right here tomorrow. Then let's see how much money it loses due to Theta. On Thursday, it will lose roughly 200, 300 rupees due to Theta. On Friday evening, also it loses 500 rupees. <laughs> Even on Jan 2nd, if market opens flat, right, it only loses around 2K. 
whereas if you play this week's expiry if your desired move does not come you lose <coughs> money on gamma sudesh is saying please do at least once a week live trading uh okay okay uh, i can't really do live trading dude but i share my uh, uh, verified pnl every day you can go to twitter click on my uh, verified pnl and uh, you can see what all i have done every day uh, live trading is a little tricky i really don't know the problem is this right if i am live trading indirectly i am giving advice indirectly whether i like it or not somebody might Uh, follow me somebody might take contra trade who knows right uh, and if uh, that happens i am not sure if that is fully in adherence with sebi ra regulations of 2015 uh, 14 so i don't really want to gamble with the strictest interpretation of law which is one of the reasons why i don't do live trading i share my positions after market close every day that's a different story uh, last part us dollar us dollar i had said that if dollar Uh, <clears throat> goes above, <clears throat> sorry, eighty-two ninety-ish uh, on spot and settles there. It might give an up move, but till that time, it's not really going to up move up. And something else happened today, of course. So if, if you look at daily candle, there is a shooting star on daily candle in international market is at least forty. So this is conflict. This was bullish engulfing. There's a shooting star. So. I did take a small bell shooting star today, but uh, I'll get out if spot crosses eighty to ninety. So dollar my view is it might give a little bit of correction if uh, uh, it stays below eighty to ninety. If the spot crosses eighty to ninety, of course view is invalidated, and we can expect dollar to go much much higher. So basically, right? Uh, long story short, T Bank Nifty dollar everything. Is in a critical juncture, so dollar crosses this line, eighty to ninety zone, and settles comfortably there. You can expect higher move. Nifty cracks below eighteen thousand, uh, eighteen thousand sixty, close to eighteen thousand sixty fifty zone on the uh, spot chart where there is a channel drawn. Um, it could trigger bearishness. Uh, if it holds, it will trigger bullishness. If it does not hold, it will trigger bearishness. Uh, Bank Nifty, of course, looking much more bullish than Nifty. Uh, but even bank nifty if it goes below 42000 it can trigger bearishness because the channel is right so all of them are in critical junctures uh, till we find a clear strong trend it might make lot of sense uh, to uh, uh, to keep your positions light till a big uh, move comes right Uh, Shashwat is saying dollar and Nifty show a negative goal. Shashwat, my dear boy, this I have said this before also. See, dollar and Nifty in paper theoretically shows negative correlation. That is true. But let me draw your attention to one small pic- fact, which is big picture, right? If you look at markets since two thousand eleven, right? And uh, I am saying two thousand eleven because two thousand eleven is when I, I started trading dollar, right? Go to two thousand eleven. and you can see that nifty was around uh nifty was around ka pair 6000 right to the 10 may 6000 kuch sa right uh, and now it is at 18000 three times it has gone up right if you look at dollar i mean hold on If you look at dollar in two thousand ten, it was at around forty five. In fact, I have put the buy order at forty five. I remember that number. Two thousand ten August me it was even forty four, um, and uh, now it is at. So in the long term, Nifty has gone up three three times. Dollar has gone up uh, two times. I that is not what we will typically call negative correlation, right? In paper, in theory, everyone say, "Oh, dollar risk of Nifty risk of EAO, blah blah blah." But if you look at it in reality, I don't think this negative correlation story is true. In fact, I would say uh, the positive correlation story might hold more water than the negative correlation story for the simple reason that uh, they have both gone up together. Even if you look at it in the last few months, right? Let's look at since pandemic, right? 
dollar was at 68-69 levels, now it's at 82. Nifty was at around 12,000, now it's at 18,000. So dollar and Nifty are not really negatively correlated, right? Uh, but anyway, uh, so that is, uh, uh, Dhruva is saying that Nifty channel may be broken. Uh, Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. Anyway, so this is our analysis for today. We'll see you again uh, on Sunday night. Uh, uh, as usual, this is not tips, recommendations, advice, any of that stuff. This is just analysis so that you can do the same thing and take do your own decisions, take your own trades, do your own risk management, etc., etc., etc. Right? Uh, so on that note, I'll take your leave. As usual, please take care.